Next up, we want to look at types of radioactivity. There are two main types of radioactivity. We have the natural radioactivity and the artificial radioactivity. Natural radioactivity is the spontaneous disintegration of the nucleus of an atom during which alpha particle, beta particle, or gamma rays, or combination of any or all the three, and heat or energy are also released. So what we're trying to explain here is that anytime you see a nuclear equation or a radiation that is involving an alpha particle, a beta particle, and, and then a gamma ray, that, part, that radiation is typical, typically a natural radioactivity. So when a radioactive element naturally undergoes radioactive decay, it may emit either alpha particle or beta particle or gamma rays. This changes the atomic number of the element and hence a new element is formed. The atomic number is changed and sometimes the mass number is also changed and then a new atom is formed with new mass number and new atomic number. And this is exactly what Henry Berkeley was saying in his, uh, in his postulation for radioactivity or his contribution to the topic, what is matter? So next up, we want to look at artificial radioactivity. If the radioactivity is induced in an element by irradiation with, for example, neutrons, the process is known as artificial radioactivity. By irradiation, we mean exposure to radiation either by accident or by intent. Artificial disintegration or reactivity was first achieved by Rutherford when he disrupted nitrogen nucleus with energetic alpha particles to produce first of all an isotope of fluorine. The fluorine nucleus being unstable disintegrates immediately into an oxygen nucleus and a proton thus this equation here so this guy was bombarded with this guy and this with the product that were formed then plus energy so isotopes uh, isotopes are atoms of the same atomic number but different mass number in artificial radioactivity, an ordinary material not normally radioactive is made radioactive by bombarding it with radioactive particles, as you can see here. So this phosphorus atom was bombarded with a neutron, and this new particle or this atom was this new atom was formed, and then a better particle was released plus energy. So phosphorus nuclei which are not stable but radioactive can be produced by bombarding non-radioactive aluminum with alpha particle. The, ra the radioactive the radioactive phosphorus nuclei then disintegrates spontaneously into stable silicon atom. The neutron, the proton, and the alpha particle have been found very effective bombarding projectiles for disintegrating the nuclei of elements. You need to take this line very, very serious. The neutron, the proton, and the alpha particle are used to disrupt the nuclei of particles that are not radioactive in nature. Examples of such bombardment are given below. Here you have the lithium atom is bombarded with a neutron here, a neutron particle. It is bombarded with an artificial particle called the neutron particle here. And then we have this new product here formed plus energy is released. 
Here we have the magnesium atom bombarded or disrupted with a neutron particle to form to form uh, a sodium atom and then plus the release of a new particle with, with the release of a new radioactive particle plus energy. Here the boron atom was bombarded with a helium particle and then the carbon atom was produced with a neutron and energy and then you can see the, the, the reaction continues down. So these are typical examples of artificial radioactivity. Isotopes can be made artificial by bombarding neutrons or protons or deutrons at element e.g. as what you can see here and see here. So such artificially produced isotopes are unstable and decay with the emission of alpha particle, beta particle and gamma ray. They are henceforth called radioisotopes. So if examiners ask you to explain what radioisotopes are, you can say radioisotopes or radioactive isotopes are made artificially by bombarding neutrons or protons or deutrons at elements. So in the above examples, the isotope sulfur-35 was made by bombarding the normal sulfur-34 by neutrons. Isotope cobalt-60 was made by bombarding normal cobalt-59 by neutrons. And carbon-12 was produced by the reaction between alpha particle and beryllium nuclei. Radioisotopes are used in medicine as radiotherapy, industry to study defects in metals and welded joints, agriculture as radioactive tracers and preservatives, and in, geo in, and in geological research for radio dating.